At the end of this media, you will be able to know about the various phases of the moon. From the full moon day, observe the moon continuously and make a sketch of it, as well as a note of the direction, east or west, in which the moon is seen in those days. The shape of the moon varies from one full moon to the next. There are days when the moon appears to be in round shape, and even the moon cannot be seen at all. The day on which the moon appears to be round and disc-shaped is known as full moon day. After the full moon day, the size of the moon gets reduced. As the size of the moon reduces, illuminated portion is still larger than the darkened portion. This shape is called gibbous moon. After about 7.5 days, half the moon is illuminated, and the other half is dark. This shape is called half moon. Subsequently, the illuminated portion becomes smaller than the darkened portion. This shape is called crescent moon. After the new moon day, the moon again passes through the phases of crescent moon, half moon, gibbous moon, and then finally full moon. These are the various phases of the moon. On the 15th day from the full moon day, there will be no visible moon, and this is said to be the new moon day. There is a time span of slightly longer than 29 days between on full moon to the next full moon, and this span is said to be a lunar month. Thus, you have learned about the various phases of the moon.